We're crossing the synchrotron bridge now. Um, so we're about to go into the synchrotron building itself. We're just about to go through here, which is where the control room is. So this is manned 24 hours a day. This is the LINAC, the linear accelerator. So this is the part where the um, electron gun injects electrons. The electrons come through into the booster ring, at which point they're injected into the storage ring, which is this big ring around here. Now at that point, the electrons are moving very close to the speed of light, but they like to move in straight lines. So what we want is light coming off. So we make the electrons bend round. Now they need to lose energy to do that. And the way that they lose energy is by letting off light. Follow me. So here you can see all of the beam lines and all of the um, experiment stations here at Diamond. And this bit is the experiment hutch. This is where it's taking place. And we're just going to look through this window here. Um, this is special shielding glass so we can look in at the same time. So if you look in where the blue light is, you can see that there's um, there are some tubes all focused down to a tiny spot. And this box at the back here is the detector. So you have your sample, which is a crystal, which is my hand at the moment. And the beam comes in here, and then we get what we call diffraction coming off. And so what that means is that you get a series of spots arising. On, and we collect those on the detector. So when you see a detector image from diffraction, it's lots and lots and lots of spots. And we can work out from the position of those spots how the atoms are arranged in this crystal. There's always something cool happening. That on one hand, we've got experiments that are looking at protein structures so that they can investigate how diseases work and how we can treat them and how we can design drugs, right through to looking at, at new materials and looking at new types of paint or right through to sort of engineering products like we, we can look at, at aircraft turbines. You can see there are coloured zones on the way round and that's so that you know where you are. It's a very large round building and it can look the same. With no corners, you need some kind of flag to tell you where you are. So what you can see here is a lot of pipe work and you can see some um, bright yellow buildings. Now, these are what we call hutches. They're our experiment stations. There's still part of me that, um, that still thinks this is really amazing. I mean, if nothing else, it's a massive feat of engineering and it's a giant round building. I think the other thing is you really get the sense of the reason that it's round is because the light comes off at tangents to this and you can see where the ring is and where the beam lines are coming off. Each of them are coming from a pinpoint of light. It's, I think it's 100 billion times brighter than the sun. So we're talking really, really bright. So one of the things you might have heard as we walk around is there's a sort of hissing noise. And the hissing noise comes from nitrogen gas. Now, because of this very bright light that we have, it's very, very focused, but it can get quite hot. So we cool all of our optics, and we use liquid nitrogen to do that. So right now, we're standing on the roof of the storage ring. So if you look down, this is the shielding. So we can walk on top of the storage ring while it's running, which I think is really cool. The ring itself is 561 metres circumference, I think, um, and 62, 562 metres circumference. Ninety percent of the time is dedicated to what we call academic research, and that means research is going to be published for everyone to access. So the other 10% is available for proprietary use by companies. So industry who wants to answer a particular problem, maybe a research problem, can access the facilities themselves. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the storage ring. So that silver bit right in the middle, that, that pipe that has a sort of strange cross section, that's where the electron beam goes around. And the electron beam is tiny and it's right in the middle of that beam pipe. This side is the labs. So here we have all of the users who are doing their experiments or preparing their samples ready to go on the beam lines. So they do all the preparation right next to the beam lines and then they just walk across the whole floor into the beam line where they can do their experiment. And I think that it's really important that Diamond is a, a resource for the entire country, for academia and for business. And especially at the moment, I think it's really important to help answer so many of the fundamental science questions that we have, that we have access to facilities like this. <laughs>